The moment you've all been waiting for. What happened to John B's face? It's doing a lot better actually. It's looking quite nice. My nose is no longer looking like shredded salami and my cheek looks pretty much healed. This whole like what happened to John B's face caused quite an uproar. I had a lot of comments rolling in even on videos that had nothing to do with my fed up face. It was just all over my channel. <laughs> I had probably a hundred comments on each video asking what happened to John B's face? What's going on? Did Parrot hit him with a popper? Did he get attacked by a giant Trevally? Some people thought I got in, in a bar fight. Other people thought I was on a drunken rampage in Bali and fell on some concrete. All very good guesses, guys, but unfortunately, you're wrong. And believe it or not, I looked through basically all the comments and not a single one of you guys guessed correctly as to what happened to my nose and my cheek right before I caught the biggest GT of my entire life. I was actually pretty surprised. You guys know me pretty well. You're, you're able to kind of put the, the, the nail, the hammer on the, what am I trying to say? You guys are pretty good at nailing the hammer on the, nailing the, nail on the, Forget it. Matter of fact, I was filming and rolling for what happened, but I never decided to put it in the video for whatever reason, pa mainly because I wanted the, f the video to focus on, on the big fish and not the turn of events. Before I get into all this and explain to you guys what happened to my face, I wanna show you my brand new GT shirt. Pretty sick, eh? If you guys have a, a loved one out there, maybe your little brother that wants a giant Trevally shirt, get him a shirt. They look great on absolutely everyone. I'll leave a link for you guys to click right down there in the description. You guys can purchase one for yourself. You got an auntie out there that loves you. Buy her a G t-shirt. Seriously, it means a lot. By buying these shirts, you guys send me back to Bali and hopefully I'll catch a bigger GT next time. But let's get back on track here and talk about my face because it's been two weeks since I've told you guys and I really love building up the anticipation. Hopefully you guys haven't forgotten about it. Maybe some of you have. Now it's your turn. Let's get to guessing. Is it A, did my good buddy Sammy D smoke me right in the noggin with a 110 gram popper mid cast? Could it be B, I was filming at a local market. One of the locals really didn't like that I was filming his beautiful produce and decided to take action and get a little aggressive on me or was it B? Was I trying to capture some sick B-roll of the islands and some of the bait fish down there and end up flying a drone directly into my own face? Give you guys a quick second to guess. Just right below in the comments where it says comments, just click right there and you guys can, you guys can either troll or whatever. Okay, that's enough time. Hopefully you get your guesses in. Let's roll the clip. Swear to God. Yeah. On my face? Yeah. yeah. On oh, my nose? Yeah. That really hurt. There you have it. Confirmed. No more asking, no more question. The wait is over. You guys can now rest at peace. I know some of you guys have been just staying up late at night wondering what happened to the whole facial region. <laughs> Drone. More specifically, oh God, sorry. More specifically, the generation one. DJI Mavic, right to the noggin. Not a story I really told a lot of my friends, little and you guys on the internet, uh, but hey, you win some and you lose some. And when you lose some, you know, you get a prop to the face. I actually probably really could have messed myself up. If you notice, the cut was right along here and then continued on my cheek. And right before the nose, the, the bridge of the nose is the eyeball. Luckily I had my sunglasses on. I had a, I had a pair of glasses when I was flying my drone and I seriously think I could have not ripped my own eyeball. Maybe I could have ripped my own eyeball out, but really could have messed up my eye. First of all, I didn't know it hurt that bad. The guys were like, holy, they were like freaking out, man. They thought like, I just, I don't know. They didn't know what would happen. But the, the glasses, the lens of my glasses had this huge deep scratch right there. And I'm just thinking to myself, thank God that wasn't my eyeball. On, on, a, on a more severe note, that could have actually been really bad. Luckily it was just a minor little cut across the face, but it made for a pretty hilarious story. Imagine me just up there on the front of the boat by myself. Everyone's eating lunch. I'm just like, I'm getting this sick B-roll and I'm just going to land this drone now. And I'm like, okay. And the boat's rocking back and forth and the drone's going and I'm like, all right, screw it. I got to grab this thing. So I reach out this like a, like a toddler. I'm like, oh, I'm going to grab it. It goes just smokes me right in the face. Like that is a very painful feeling these are pretty sharp blades and it didn't feel good on my face I will tell you that uh, that's a broken drop by the way so don't freak out so the video this video isn't just about what happened to my face also I wanted to share with you guys kind of an interesting story that happened on the very last day in Bali that I 
happened to leave out for a few reasons, one of which was a massive bust of a day, and two, I was just so tired and so preoccupied editing all the prior videos that I really didn't care about the last day in Bali because we didn't really have a solidified plan. So let me tell you a quick story and then I'll let you guys go. I'll let you get back to your, your dinner or you know, hang out with your girlfriend or maybe you got homework. Actually, don't do homework. Definitely go out fishing if you plan on doing homework. So the last day in Bali, Perik and I decided that we would go on our own with uh, Sam, Perik's cameraman, and go to Nusa Penita, which is a very tiny island off of Bali and we thought we'd do some GT fishing off the rocks just like the morning tide guys You know, they make it look so easy a couple of guys from the United States should be able to do it too, right? It looks simple, right? Just go out there and throw a popper and just give her a rip not easy One of which is hard to find a spot that's safe enough to get on those rocks and throw the poppers and second We just didn't know the island very well. We ended up spending 50 minutes in the scooter from where the ferry dropped us off to get into this one spot, got there, ended up being a tourist spot, wasn't even an area to fish. Then I had to drive 50 minutes back, Sam lost his phone, I lost my mind, but it was just getting to the point where I was getting aggravated. We jumped back on the ferry, and this happened on our way back to Bali. <laughs> So what had happened basically is we were riding along, of course the ferry is full of people that are local to the island of Nusa Penita and you've got tourists. It's 50-50. As we were sailing back to Bali from Nusa Penita, we hit kind of a large wave and it triggered this older lady on the boat and she just goes off on this tangent, just screaming at the top of her lungs. All the pasty white tourists on the, on the ferry, myself included, were just super rattled, we're just like, um, okay, what's going on? <laughs> what is she saying? You know, it, it's a little daunting. Like imagine anyone like on an airplane or on a bus just starts screaming. It freaks the f out of pretty much anyone on there. So I just didn't know what to expect. So that kind of simmered down after about 10 minutes. She finally calmed. Ooh, okay, it's just a wave. You know, she just kind of recollected herself and we got off on the ferry. So we were determined to figure out what it was. So we showed the video to our taxi driver and he's like, oh, oh yeah. And you're like, what, what, what's, oh yeah, what are you talking about? And he follows that by saying, oh, uh, she's, um, he, he can't find the word, you know, he can't speak English very well. And he finally lands on, it's, uh, it's a chant. It's, um, uh, like a hail. Who, who is he? Uh, yeah, I mean, only, only, only see, you know, only because he, he can contact, you know. Who, who is, who is he though? Who is that? God? Uh, no. The bed, the bed. Oh, bad, the bed. yeah, the double. Bed. Yeah. So she was yelling. Bed, I like the she bed was yelling, the she bed was yelling, she yelling was, at the bed. Yeah. The place like most, uh, the place is very ugly. Yeah. Very ugly, yeah. yeah. But at you, you cannot see. But we only, can. Only this, this, this guy. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Wow. And he's, no, no, hailing to the to the bad. And he keeps saying him. She's hailing to him. And we're looking at each other like, this is something like in a horror movie. Like, what happened? Did she just curse absolutely everyone on that ferry? And he's like, she's hailing to the bad, the evil. And we're like, the devil? Like, is this what, what religion does she practice? And he says, no, she's hailing to the bad spirit. There's a bad spirit following her around and she's hailing to get him away. And when, and we told him that we hit a wave and he's like, oh yeah, when a big gust of wind comes or when a wave crashes or, or lightning strikes, that's a sign of, of an evil omen following an individual. And not all people, but some people who are on the island of Nusa or who practice the religion she does, which I think maybe is Hinduism, I'm not positive. She, she gets angry at this evil spirit and that was her way of getting angry. So that, uh, that was, Probably the most interesting way to end the, one of the worst days in Bali, one of the crustiest days fishing-wise on Bali. Then we proceeded to go back to the hotel. We all were just mega gassed. Bear, do you need some milk? Oh, somebody! Help is needed right now. I smell like f***ing cow's asshole. <laughs> he needs some milk! Buddy's phone got stolen by, by who knows who. We had some ladies singing. Life is not is better now, though. <laughs> It is. With AC. AC has made AC. life so much better. Two okay. hour scooter ride downhill, uphill both ways. Yeah, we I, I did some Travis Pastrana shit. And I got my, my international license in off court off road scootering today. Yeah, so that's about it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is video is long overdue, but I thought I'd just do it now then later. Before I sign out, again, go on the rig website and at the very least check this shirt out. You know, pick it up if you like it. It would mean the world to me. 
and then you got a sick little GT shirt. Even if you're a bass fisherman, GT shirts are cool. Thank you for watching, I appreciate the view, and as always folks, keep flying drones in your face, never stop.